my Beekman Town Eagles. Welcome to Miss Woodward Reads. Today I'm reading a nonfiction book. Nonfiction means it's true and has facts. Now this is a little bit longer than usual, but I think you'll really like this book. This book is called Mama Built a Little Nest. The author is Jennifer Ward and the illustrator is Steve Jenkins. Steve Jenkins is a well-known illustrator. I love his illustrations. They're really interesting and different than usual. Mama built a little nest inside a sturdy trunk. She used her beak to tap, 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 the perfect place to bunk. And then in the book, it has information about this type of bird. Tree hole nests, also known as cavity nests, are created by the male and female woodpeckers. So this type of bird is a woodpecker. Mama built a little nest, a cup so wee and snug, with walls of moss and roof of sky and silky cobweb rug. Now this bird is a hummingbird. A hummingbird makes the smallest cup-shaped nest. It uses spider web so the little nest will stretch as the chicks grow. That's pretty smart. I've, I never knew that about spider webs and hummingbirds. Mama built a little nest. Well, actually, she didn't. She found one that another made, and then she laid me in it. Not all birds build nests. The cowbird, right there, Wida and Cuckoo, find a nest built by another bird species. They lay their eggs in it and fly off, leaving their eggs in the care of the bird who built the nest. So they have their eggs and then leave the eggs to be taken care of by another bird. That's pretty trusting. Oh, I know these birds. Mama built a little nest. My daddy helped out too. They placed my egg upon his feet. That's where I hatched and grew. And there's our information about this bird. The emperor penguin uses a living nest. The feather, the father penguin, the father penguin uses his beak to roll the mother's egg upon his feet quickly so it doesn't freeze and carefully so it doesn't break. There it stays buried under his tummy folds for about 60 days, warm and protected. 60 days is about two months. Mama scraped a simple nest upon a craggy ledge. She tucked me safe within her wings until my time to fledge. Now this bird right here. Certain birds, such as the falcon, this is a falcon, create a nest called a scrape on a high cliff edge. The mother and father may scrape away at the ledge, creating a small indentation. So you can see it's really just on the side of a cliff. I don't see a lot of sticks um, or that cup shape of a nest. And look at here comes Mama Bird with some fish for her baby. Daddy built a little nest and then he built another and another and another, hoping to impress my mother. This is cool. Like many wrens, this bird is called a wren. There he is right there, the wren. A male cactus wren builds several dome-shaped nests to attract a female. If impressed, the female will choose one and then continue to add to its structure. Remaining nests may be used as resting places or roosts by the father and may also serve as decoys to confuse predators. Predators would be animals that might try to eat the wren. Mama built a little nest. She used her beak to sew a woven nest of silky grass, the perfect place to grow. Now this is interesting because it looks like it's upside down and that it's hanging. Weaver birds create very detailed woven nests by sewing and weaving nesting materials together. They pull grasses and fiber over, under, around, and through using only their beak and feet. That is pretty amazing. Ooh. What type of bird is this? Mama built a little nest by digging out a burrow. It was a hoot, our little home, a safe and feathery furrow. The burrowing owl nests underground in a burrow nest. It can dig its own burrow or use an abandoned burrow created by a mammal. So another animal that might live in the ground. Hmm, what animal could live in the ground that's a mammal? Maybe a gopher? Mama built a little nest. She gathered twigs that float and placed them on the water to create a cozy boat. 
Grebes create a floating nest on the water and anchor it to water plants. That's pretty interesting. I've never seen a nest like that. Mama built a little nest. She made it on the ground. A simple nest, not very soft, with pebbles smooth and round. Many shorebirds create scrape nests on the ground. Their eggs often have colors and patterns to help camouflage them with their environment. Can you find the eggs in this picture? Hmm, so they're trying to confuse predators once again so they don't come eat their eggs. And I think I can tell that these are the eggs and these are the pebbles on the outside. And if I were a predator looking really quick, I wouldn't really think there were eggs there, so those eggs would be kept safe. That's pretty smart. Daddy built a little nest, now don't gross out, with spit. Who would have thought that spit would make the perfect place to sit? The swiftlet makes an edible nest using the tube-shaped saliva which hardens in the air. Swiftlet nests are used in bird nest soup, a Chinese delicacy. So in China, you might go to a restaurant and eat a nest. How interesting is that? That's pretty cool. Mama built a sealed nest within an old tree's hollow. My daddy left a little hole to pass her food to swallow. Look at this bird. That's an interesting looking bird. The hornbill makes a cavity nest inside a tree hollow. With the female inside and the male outside, both birds use mud and droppings to seal the cavity. A small hole is left open, which the male uses to feed the female. She remains locked inside the nest to incubate their clutch. After the chicks have hatched, the female breaks out, helping the male feed and care for their young from the outside until the chicks are old enough to leave the nest. That's quite interesting. Ooh, I know this bird. Anybody else know that bird? Hmm, that's a huge nest. Mama built a sturdy nest by stacking twigs up high, a breezy house upon a tree where talons blend with sky. The male and female bald eagle build a stick nest called an airy by gathering and layering many sticks. Their nests are among the largest of all bird nests, usually five to six feet in diameter and two to four feet high. That's bigger than most of you. I know this bird too. What is it? A flamingo. Mama built a little nest entirely out of mud. No feathery down, no soft green plants, just fuddy, muddy crud. The male and female flamingo build a mound-shaped nest on the ground using mud into which the female lays just one egg. So they only lay one egg at a time. You have a nest, your very own, a place to rest your head with pillows soft and cozy thoughts. Your nest is called a bed. The end. I like this nonfiction book. So there was a lot of facts in this book about different types of birds. So if you're really interested in birds, this would be the book for you. And I think maybe during the spring, if you're out hiking or walking, you can keep an eye out for different type of nests that you might see. Thank you, my Beekman Town Eagles.